Welcome back. Long time no see. In this video, we want to talk about functions in Python. So far, we have already seen some built in functions like the print function and then the input function and other functions. But we want to look at how we can build our own functions in Python. If you want to write our own function in Python, we use the keyword def to define our function. The def stands for define. All right. Then you bring the name of the function here and the name it follows the rules of naming a variable all right so you can follow the rules of naming a variable to name your function so here we want to name our function as let's just say hello and then don't forget this bracket it is how we define a function and then a column here as we used to define a code block in python then after that you can bring all the statements here under this function so here we just want to print hello all right this is all that we want our function to do so we can call our function in python after defining a function like this if you want to use it you have to call it or invoke it all right then if you run this we expect that hello will be printed and what you should know is that you can call this function as many as you want and it will run the same thing for you so if you run this we expect that three lines of hello will be printed all right exactly as we expected we can see some yellowish line here it's just for aesthetic reasons the standard we expect that you bring two spaces before you call a function so after defining a function you can just bring two spaces before you call the function so here i'll reformat this file and then it will bring it down and then all the yellowish underline will vanish so this is a simple way of defining a function in python we can also make our function thick something called an argument all right so we put a parameter here let's say name and then after that we bring our statement here let's say print let's bring our f string here hello then we want to print the name all right so as simple as that this is all that we want our function to do and then we call this function or we invoke it all right so here since we have defined a parameter here we have to pass in something here all right so if you run this function we will get an error because this function expect exactly one argument all right as you saw in the other methods or functions that we use before if the function or the method expects an argument and you don't pass in anything you will get an error so here we have to put in something okay so we can say let's say sum all right and then if you run this we get hello sum now i want you to take note of something the variable here is called a parameter and then the value that we give here when we are calling the function is called an argument some programmers use it interchangeably but they are quite different things altogether all right so the parameter is used when you are defining the function and then the argument is used when you are calling or invoking the function what you have to know is that a function can take many parameters as you want separated by commas okay so here we can put another variable called age so here we can say hello name then let's say we put a comma here you are let's say age years old all right so again when we are calling the function this function is spread to arguments and we have passing one here so if you run this you will get an error all right because one argument is missing that is the age so you have to pass in here let's say 25 and then we can run this code we are getting hello sam you are 25 years old you can actually use the print function here let's say print all right then you bring the function name here greetings okay so we can do this and then if we run this we expect to get the same thing we are getting hello sam you are 25 years old but after that we are getting none if you remember when our functions or our methods were not returning any value we are getting the none data type so this function 
doesn't return anything it's just printing this string okay hello sam you are 25 years old so if you want our function to return a value we have to use what we call the return keyword okay in the function so instead of using the print here we can use the return keyword here and if we run this we get the same thing but the none data type here will vanish so let's run this and see hello sam you are 25 years old because our function returns a value but what you have to know is that if your function is returning a value like this here and you don't use the print function on your function nothing will be printed on the screen okay so what i want to say is if we remove this print function here and then we call our invoke our function like this and then we run it you'll get nothing on the screen all right but when you use the print function here and then we call the function this way something was printed on the screen so know the difference okay what you have to know is that you can always assign your function to a variable okay like this so here we can say greetings then we pass in a variable here let's say john and then the age we want it to be let's say 30 and then after that here we print any var okay it will be the same thing as putting the function in the print function directly so if we run this we expect that we got hello john you are 30 years old so these are some simple ways of declaring a function all right let's end here and in the next video we will talk more and explore more about how we can use function and then the benefit of using functions in our code bye bye for now see you in the next video